comes in during spring. All right, so on this one, all we're going to practice is watching GR, Gordon Ryan, the greatest. Anyways, um, what we're uh, going to be practicing is just using side kick and the TP kick. All right. Um, when the guy is coming at you striking now remember we're not we're not practicing to fight an mma fighter we're practicing for that guy in the street that I wish yeah, yeah. <laughs> that crazy guy that's coming at you while the crazier the guys come at you the easier is going to be the clinch believe me i'm telling you if craziness were a tactic then you see it in professional fighting but you don't see it because they would get taken down in seconds same thing would happen in a street fight okay but all we're practicing right now is either as he's walking towards you i'm not going to kick you hard but you gotta you gotta learn to measure distance management so you gotta stay within that range you don't want to be right here this you can get punched you can get kicked it's not good you either want to be here or at a good distance and at this good distance your knees are wide your hands are up and again all we're practicing is every kick i'm going to do is going to be with that front leg the first one is going to be the side kick pison they call them so you're here you're watching your distance as you're walking boom i stop and i'm back again my hands are up boom i stop them again i always tried that twice it's up to you. There's no real time. You could do that all fight or you could do it one or two times. So he's coming again. Ah! What did you see? I flinched. He, he flinched because I had hit him already right, twice. Thing, thing in the kick. So he thought the kick was coming in. I did. And all I did was, boom, I'm inside. Once I'm inside here, you know, you can do a lot of things. Okay, that's why you got to practice. All these moves going from the front from the back because that clinch leads right into that. Can you do that clinch one more time? Just get into the clinch. Well, I, I went here, he walked towards me. I flinched, I saw that. I went, boom, I'm inside. Now, there's different clinches here. Okay. I just happened to go to this one right here. I like this one right here. Okay, I can control him, I can strike. I can take him straight down. Boom. Switch it right back into Kimura locks. Back up. So that's is a good control from here. All right. This is a good control right from here. So but everything is set up from from here. We're here. We're here. Boom. Stop. And my hands are up. Boom. I threw him off on that one. He thought that he was, he thought that he was going, that I was going to kick again. And I went on the second try. So the point is you decide when you want to go forward. If I made the forward momentum of him coming at me, I, you're not used to a man coming at you that speed. So he's coming at me, I'm like, oh, 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 oh. The mind's not processing how to react to that. So then that benefits you. You're not used to a man coming at you at that speed. <laughs> sorry, about that. sorry about that, Glenn. Sorry about you walked into Whoa, that. My what, what? But I know what you're talking I was about. Even of Cop humor here. <laughs> All right. So we're here. One more time. So we're here. He's walking towards me. He's walking towards. Me. Boom. Okay. Don't catch him right here. It'll be too late. Just slowly walk towards me. Just slowly walk towards me. Boom. That's all I'm doing. Foot completely sideways. Boom. And then on one of those, as he's walking, boom, and I just clinch. What you do once you make that clinch, well, that's another class. On three, one, two, go. 